on to Tampa. I only have one Tampa jersey, which is surprising for a team I really like. Uh, but I love this one. I got this one on Boxing Day after Christmas. I got put Jokinen. I got Jokinen put on it. Jeez. Uh, he did wear number 10 there for a little bit before he switched to 36 the following season, right before he got dealt to Carolina. Uh, so I wanted to get number 10 put on there instead of 36 because I have 36 for all his other jerseys. So I thought 10 would be cool to get on here. Um, I really, really like it. I think it's really sharp. Honestly, Tampa is one of the teams too. Doesn't have a lot of jerseys that I don't like. Um, so until I get more, that'll have to do. I really need to get a Nikita Kucherov jersey. I think he's a really good player. Um, Toronto, 1967 style, third jersey that they brought back in the uh, mid 2000s, 2010s, I guess, yeah. Like 2011, 2012, 2013, they had this somewhere in there. I don't really know. I'm not a huge Toronto fan, but I'm a huge fan of this jersey. Uh, laces, the collar, the logo, felt again, uh, the striping, everything about it. Really, really nice. Um, probably want to get maybe Grabowski put on here. And this one. This is my favorite Toronto jersey I think they've ever had. Uh, it's their Reebok version. Similar to what they're wearing now, with the exception of the collar change from Adidas. This one's a lot nicer, I think, because of that. Very simple, very clean. The logo pops very well. Um, this is, I believe, a 60s design as well, or maybe earlier, maybe 40s or 50s. Can't remember, I'd have to check. Um, but it's it's very, very nice. Uh, the striping, everything about it. I just, I just love it. Definitely going to get uh, Nikita Zaitsev put on there, because why not? Not getting Austin Matthews, that's for damn sure, because everyone else has an Austin Matthews jersey. All right, so let's see if I can't make a mess. Uh, Vancouver. It's the only one I have for Vancouver. Not a Canucks fan. Um, they are growing on me a little bit. I do like this jersey. Um, I probably will only get one more Vancouver jersey. Um, I want to get the one from the... I think it was about 2003, up until this one came in in 2007. Their, I guess it would have been their home jersey, and then it would have switched to their road jersey around 2005-ish, 2006. Uh, the white one, um, think back to the Dallas Stars Vancouver series in 2007. Uh, that, that jersey, that's the only one I ever want to get. Um, but I like the colors. I love blue and green together. I think they look cool. I do want to move to uh, Vancouver Island, which I'll blend right in there. I'll just put this on. I'll shave all this and just grow a mustache and become a hipster. Uh, and it'll be perfect. I'll blend right in. But until I get the other one, this is the only one I have. Uh, oh. I do want to get Sven Barchi put on there. I love Barchi. He's a former Flame. Um, I, I think he's probably my favorite player playing for them right now. Oh, this one. Vegas. Golden Knights. Uh, obviously, it's Adidas. Um, although, I did find the Fanatics one, and I tried it on. I liked it, too. It fit better. But I did want to get the Adidas one. Um, I do plan on getting William Carlson put on here. I know that's... Uh, there was quite a bit of issues with the cresting, getting the name and number put on the Adidas ones. Um, so I have found where I can get the correct ones done for Vegas. Um, if you want to get them done correctly, I would, I'll would i leave a link to the website as well. I believe it's called Keener Jerseys. It's based out of Winnipeg. Um, so I'm going to be sending this here pretty shortly, I think, to get Carlson put on here. Um, again, this one uh, was a size 46, so the logo is considerably smaller than the size 50 or 52 or so on. Um, I do like how that they, they try to make the logo fit the jersey size a little bit better, um, but I wish they were just like a tiny, tiny little bit bigger. Um, just a little too small. I think it's a little too noticeably small. Um, I was already 
how I said I didn't have Columbus. Um, I was looking at buying the Columbus Adidas one. The logo, I think, just looked just a little bit off. Um, I'll go into that more again into the review when I do my Adidas uh, jersey review. Um, but until then, we will carry on to Winnipeg. Uh, I didn't want to put this in with the Thrashers. Um, I think it would have annoyed me just looking at it hanging there with the Atlanta ones. And I didn't want to put Atlanta all the way back here again. I think it would have looked stupid. I didn't put the Nordiques with the Avalanche and I, whatever. Uh, but this is one of the ones that, again, I like the dark one better than the white one. Um, I think it's just a really sharp jersey. I think on the white one that I don't like is the sleeves. If the sleeves were plain, like, just the exact opposite of this, I think I'd like it more. But the shoulders are all uh, this blue, and they're white under here. I don't really like that. But... I can't complain. I really like this. I think it's one of the cooler logos currently in the NHL. Um, they do have, right in here, Winnipeg. Uh, it's a little harder to see. I wish they would have picked a better color for that in there. Shoulder logo. I love the shoulder logo. Um, at some point, I'd like to get Tanner Glass put on there. Uh, we are related. Second cousins, are, I believe. Um, met him one or two times, and he's a real nice guy. So I would like to get his name put on there, just so next time I see him, I can get my uncle to get me to get him to sign this or something, or whatever. I don't know. Uh, last, last team in the NHL, Washington. Um, not a whole lot to say. I like it. I do want to get, I think, Fedorov put on here. Um, I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, would be okay because I have the old Reebok logo, which he would have played in. On this one, I want to get Backstrom. Um, they're white jersey, and they're red. Um, not sure. I think I like the white one more, but I think the logo pops a little bit better than on the red one. I don't really know. It doesn't really matter. I'm not a huge Capitals fan, but I definitely want to get Backstrom put on there. I like Backstrom a lot. Uh, that's it for Washington. I do want to get... The, uh, the 90s Ovechkin, or like the late 90s, early 2000s, mid 2000s era, Capitals one with like the Capitol building or the Eagle on there. I want to get like uh, Ovechkin, maybe like Olaf Kolzig or something on one of those ones. I think that'd be pretty cool. But those ones again are a bit pricey. All right, uh, that does it for the NHL. We are moving on into the European and international area here. Um, I love European hockey. Um, I hate when I hear people kind of shit all over the European hockey leagues and other leagues that aren't the NHL. I love hockey. Um, I know I'm not the only one, but I know I'm in the minority. Um, one of the, my favorites is the Spangler Cup. I watched that tournament as much as I can every year. And my favorite team from them is the host HC Davos. Uh, this was their 2010, no, sorry, 2012 jersey for the Spangler Cup. That was the year of the lockout when they had like Patrick Kane and uh, Joe Thornton. Uh, Louis Erickson was on the team. And I, I really like their jersey. I love the color, I love the logo. Um, Kind of a lot going on, I know, with all the advertised advertisements. Um, I would never want to see advertisement on the NHL ones, but for the European ones, I don't mind it. I, I kind of actually like it. Um, but right here, you can see it says, like, Spangler Cup 2012. Um, I did think about getting Patrick Kane put on there. But he didn't actually play for Davos during the lockout. He was loaned to them for the Spangler Cup. Uh, he played in Beal. If I could find a Beal jersey with Kane on it, I think that'd be pretty cool. But I got uh, Rito Van Arts, who uh, is probably their best player in franchise history. He's their their guy. Um, he's actually the reason why I wear number 82. I know it's a little bit, you know, it's one lower, but... Uh, I didn't want to take his number. Um, actually, it's kind of funny enough. Uh, 
we played ball hockey in Saskatoon in 2012, and they had just a bunch of European uh, team names because there was no NHL hockey, and I got to play for HC Davos in uh, our ball hockey league. Um, we got destroyed, but it was fun, and I, I really love this jersey. Um, I would love to get their yellow version as well. Uh, moving on to the KHL. Um, I don't have any other leagues besides the Swiss and the KHL. Uh, for European, I would love to get, like, this. I want to get at least one jersey from every major league, like Finland, Sweden, uh, Germany, Slovakia, Czech, um, even the France League I would like to get a jersey from. But uh, I got quite a bit from the KHL, and I have the Boris Astana jersey. Um, this is one of my favorite jerseys in all of hockey because of the numbers. Um, on the back I got my last name and 45. Got a little bit tired of wearing number 82 all the time, so I decided to pick something different. Um, but I love the gold numbers. Uh, as well with the Flyers one, um, the numbers that I would get on here would be gold as well. And I think that is just really cool, really unique. That doesn't happen too often. And I love it. Um, the collar as well, I really like the collar. Um, they would have wore this in 2015 and they've had some good players. So they had like, um, Ryan McDonough, I think played there for the lockout. Victor Hedman would have been there in the lockout. They have Nigel Dawes, Brandon Bochensky, Dustin Boyd, just, uh, just a bunch of good players. And I love this jersey. I love the logo. Uh, it's very well, well made. Uh, it fits really quite nice. Um, this one is an actual like NHL quality jersey. Like it's, it's stitched. It's everything. Like it's just really, really well done. Uh, it was a bit more pricey than all my other KHL ones, like this one, uh, which is just kind of like a loose, like uh, the logo is like imprinted into the jersey, um, which is why I really like the KHL ones. Um, it, they're probably the best ones to wear out on the ice when you want to play beer league or whatever. Not only is it a good way to get chirped and made fun of a little bit, which is always fun, um, but they're they're so light, they crumple up, you can throw them, stuff them in your bag. They wash better than anything else, as long as you don't put them in the dryer. Um, I think they're the best ones. And they're not that bad of a price. They're about 100 bucks, 120 bucks or something. Um, which, for the getting a name and number put on them as well, not bad. Not bad at all. And they come from Russia, so it's pretty cool. I got Lars Starzens, uh, Latvian forward, really cool. He was the one who beat Carey Price pretty badly on a shootout. Or no, it was a penalty shot. No. It's just a breakaway in the 2014 Olympics. Um, that was a really good game, Canada and Latvia, surprisingly. But uh, yeah, I really, really like them. I want the white one as well. Uh, next, I got Akbars in Kazan. Um, one of the older teams in the KHL. I really like the colors. Uh, this is where Andre Markov currently plays. Again, lots of other good players. Um, I got Evgeny Medvedev put on here. Uh, this was long before he was ever in the NHL. Um, I was always a fan of his. Um, again, I really want the green version of this one. Maybe even another white one. They have, I love the logo. Check that out. Little guy on a horse. No, there's no guy. Just a horse. No, I don't know what that is. I have no idea what that is. But I like it. Um, I think it definitely has to have some type of heritage meaning because this is their actual team logo. So I think this has something to do with the city or the, the area of the country that it's in. Uh, moving on, I got the Yugara in Hantimonsisk. That is a handful. Um, I really like this jersey as well. The logo again, it's really cool. Uh, it's like a woolly mammoth type deal. Um, I got my name put on here. Again, not with number 82. Those are all a little later. Um, but again, this is just one of the ones I like to wear when I go out and play on the ODR or some shinny at the rink or whatever. They're super light and super easy to wear. Uh, next, 
I got the CSKA Moscow jersey. Um, I want to get a few more of these. I really want the white one. Um, they've had so many unbelievable players. That's where Valerie Nachushkin is right now. Kucherov played there. I have Alexei Morozov, Pavel Datsuk played there in the lockout, as well as Brisgalov, uh, Grabovsky. They've had Alex Frolov come through there. Um, Nikita Zaitsev, Victor Faust. Uh, I'm forgetting more than half of the players I could name off, probably. Um, Radulov, my friend, he got the Radulov version of this. Uh, I love this one so much, but I really, really want the white one. I don't know why I didn't get it. Uh, sticking with Moscow, um, Dinamo Moscow. Uh, I love this jersey. I hated this team for quite a while, um, but I've really come around to them. Again, I really like the collar. Uh, the logo, I think, is one of my favorites in all of hockey as well. That D. That D, I tell you, man. Oh. Um, did get my name put on this one again. They, uh, with, with the 82. I told you I wear 82. Um, players like Ovechkin wearing 32 have played here, uh, which my friend also has that jersey um, as well. Backstrom, he was there during the lockout. Um, again, so many good players. Nikita Filatov. Uh, Alexander Yeramenko, their goalie, just great, great franchise, one of the oldest in, in Russia. Um, can't go wrong with them. Oh, this one, Novosibirsk. Uh, it's just a really, really cool looking jersey. Um, the blue, I got Sergei Shimikov, um, no longer plays there, actually he plays for CSKA now. Um, he was a good player there. Uh, Zach Boychuk, who's from Airdrie here. He played on this team uh, a couple of seasons ago, I think maybe last year. And I love this one. I want to get the white one as well. Uh, one of the things with the KHL ones is they're just so unique, so different. I just, I can't help but want more. They're, they're different than the NHL. Um, good or bad, I don't know. That's up to you. Personally, I love them. I think they're really cool. Uh, the logo, like it's just, it's a snowflake. Who has a snowflake as a logo? They do, it's awesome. I, I really, really just, it's so cool. Uh, I love wearing this one on the ice. All the, all the KHL ones I wear on the ice. I very rarely wear the NHL ones. I have and I do, but it's a lot less than the KHL ones. Avangard Omsk. Again, unbelievable cool looking jersey. Uh, the shoulders with the like hawks wings type thing going on. Um, I got Anton Beloff, former Edmonton Oiler. Uh, got this before he was ever an Oiler. And I, I love it. I want more of these ones as well. Um, I, I I don't know what else to say, uh, but I do have the white version of this one as well, which I do like more. Um, again, just look, that's just such a cool design. I do like the logo. Uh, this was the team that Yager played for in the KHL after he left the Rangers before he came back to the Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, I don't have Yager, I do have Sergei Kostitsyn. Bit of a drop off, I know, but I still like the seats in. Um, I, I, oh, I just want more. Just want more. That's all there is to it. Uh, my favorite KHL team, uh, St. Petersburg. This is where Kovalchuk plays, Vadim Shapechev, uh, Evgeny Dodonov, uh, Nikita Gusev, um, Nabokov played here, Grebyshev, uh, Datsuk is here currently. Um, did I say Kovalchuk? I think I did. Uh, but I got my name put on here, uh, in Russian, which I think was pretty cool. That is how you say, spell out my name in Russian. Um, the star in the numbers I really like too. Uh, star right here, just right where the glove would go, really cool. Uh, the nice little tribute patch to the locomotive team. Um, I love it. This is probably 
I don't know. No, this isn't my favorite one. I do want more um, St. Petersburg jerseys. Uh, the company Looch, though, doesn't make them. Uh, Reebok does, and they're a lot harder to find than these are. Um, if you do want a KHL jersey, check out LoochUSA.com. Um, that's where all my KHL jerseys have come from. And they're very friendly, they're very helpful. Uh, they'll hook you up, help hook you up with a KHL jersey. Uh, this was the first one I got. I ordered two. Uh, this was the second one I got. Um, so I got these two. I just wanted to try, see if they were legit. Um, like I said, they weren't the, the worst price I paid for a jersey. So I did get one of these as well. Uh, this is the Locomotive Yaroslavl team, um, which is very, very good team. Um, this was the team that unfortunately died in the plane crash. And they had one of my favorite players on there. Uh, Joseph Vasicek, he was one of the ones who was playing for Carolina. Uh, he won a Stanley Cup there in 2006. He was also an Islander, a Predator, um, before he went over to Russia to play for this team, um, who I have the tattoo for as well. They they were my favorite team that I started following um, before I kind of made the switch to St. Petersburg. Um, and I... I don't really have a lot to say. I just I I love the jersey. I love the logo. I think the logo is one of the best in in Russia. Um, but yeah, every time I see it, I think of you know players like Pavel Dimitra, um, Ruslan Soleil, uh, their coach Brad McCrimmon, Joseph Asicek. It's just just yeah, it's not not really fun to talk about. Um, but moving on uh, to another really cool jersey. Uh, Yekaterinburg Abdomobilis. This is where Joffrey Lupel played. Um, Nikita Triamkin of the Canucks, he plays here. Uh, just a really cool logo. I love the A in the wings. Kind of Aerosmith-ish. Um, I did get my name put on here again. Uh, 22, I saw the rosters and 82 I think was taken. So I just had to switch. Didn't want to steal the guy's number. No, I no idea who it was. Uh, the striping on the shoulders, I really like that as well. Um, I would love to get the white version of this as well. Frankly, if I could start a beer league team, these would probably be the jerseys I would get for our team. I think they're really cool. All right, and that wraps up the KHL section. Uh, moving on to the double IHF uh, international jerseys. Again, in alphabetical order, the Team Canada, Wayne Gretzky arrow, like World Cup of Hockey or whatever, or Canada Cup. Um, one of my favorites. One, I have to get Gretzky on here, I think. Uh, Canada. The 2014 Olympics. I got this for 50 bucks, I think, at Sportcheck or something. And uh, the detail on the shoulders, I really like. Oh. See if you can see that. It's like kind of like a matte, sticky material. It's kind of got the Canadian flag hidden in there. Uh, down here at the bottom, they have all the little maple leaves representing the gold medals that they've won. Really cool little feature. Um, and then they switch to this one, the Team Canada 100th year anniversary one. Um, I love the little patch there. The striping, I love again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love it. I do probably want to get Tyler Sagan put on here eventually. Uh, they won the world championship in this jersey in 2014. <coughs> Boy, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it more than the red one, too. Um, which country is next? Czech Republic. Our friends over in the Czech Republic here got a really cool looking logo. Um, I love the Nike jerseys um, from this era. It was about 2010 style of jerseys that they have, which are very, very nice. They're 
it's like the logos on the inside, they're stitched, which does not happen for the Adidas, or sorry, for the Reebok ones. Um, very soft, very good material, super comfortable to wear. Uh, next though, we have Finland. Um, they would have wore this in the 2010 Olympics. Um, I really love it, the shade of blue, everything on here. Red really pops, really, really nice. Uh, but I like this one even more from their 2014 um, time in the Olympics. Uh, kind of really interesting design with the flag pretty much being the jersey. Uh, I think if you're from Finland and you're wearing the flag literally as a jersey, you'd be trying pretty damn hard. Again, with the 2014 ones, they have the really cool design. Hopefully you guys can see that. But yeah, um, really, really nice. But moving on, I like this one even more. Finland, the World Cup of Hockey. Um, I got the size medium and the Adidas. This was kind of the first Adidas jerseys that we saw for hockey. It does have the striping on the, the whatchamacallit there. Um, but it's really nice material again. Um, very soft, very light to wear. I love the logo, it pops out. I like this blue stripe along there, kind of Montreal-esque. Um, it's got the World Cup hockey right there and right there on the shoulder. Um, I do plan on getting Jokinen put on this one as well. Probably get like Sammy Vatnin or something or I don't know on the other ones but Jokinen it will be going on this one. Uh, moving on from Finland to France. Uh, this one I was kind of disappointed with. Um, this was a Nike one. This was probably the 2008 era. It is not as soft. It's not as nice of a material. Um, I did just get my name put on there again. Being a French heritage, I thought it would be pretty cool. I got it screen printed on here because I did not want to spend a hundred bucks getting the legit stuff put on here for such a poorly made jersey. Uh, one of the reasons I really want to go to the World Cup this year or soon hopefully is because I want to get a better France jersey. Um, I, I think this is terrible to be honest. I love the logo but the jersey itself sucks and they've had some very very nice jerseys um, since then and I need to get something better. Uh, Latvia. They have a really sharp looking jersey. The striping is really really nice. Very similar to Slovakia kind of. Uh, which we'll get to, and I love the logo as well. No idea what it means, but I'm sure it's very important to Latvian culture and flags or history or whatever, I don't know. But it's very sharp, I very, very much like it, and I'd be very proud to wear this if I was Latvian. Uh, very nice. Gando, I would really love to get the white version of this, but that would be very hard. Uh, Slovakia. Um, beautiful. I wish, though, again, I could get the white version of this. It's probably one of my favorite jerseys out there. Uh, I love how the numbers are in there. Like that. That's what I meant by kind of similar to Latvia, right where the numbers go. I guess the striping itself isn't very similar, so never mind that part. Uh, I got number 61, Milan Bartovic. Um, very good player for Slovakia. I uh, represented them many times. Um, mostly plays in the uh, Czech League, the Slovak lead, League. Um, I think he's in the KHL right now for a Slovak's team uh, in Bratislava. Could be wrong, he was there last time I saw anyway, but uh, really, really like this jersey. Sweden, can't go wrong with a good Sweden jersey. Um, again, they have the really cool features on the shoulder. They have a boat. I hope you guys can see the boat. Who, who else have, can put a boat on their jersey? Like a Scandinavian team, huh? Um, beautiful. I love the colors, the blue, the yellow. Um, this isn't the best jersey they've had. Um, 
They've had better ones, but they're all relatively similar. Uh, I got this one for a really good price as well. So I couldn't say no. Uh, Switzerland from the 2010 Olympics. Very clean, very classic, just very neutral like Switzerland, very small logo. Love it. Um, I really want to get their white jersey from the 2014 Olympics since they've used it uh, since. Um, again, one of the reasons I want to check out a world championship is to try to find that one. But in the meantime, my one Swiss jersey will hold me until I can get it. Uh, this one's very, very... I just love it. It's just so, so boring and so plain. I love it. Um, U.S. from the World Cup of Hockey as well from this... 2016, was it in 2016, 2017, I don't remember when, does it say, no it doesn't, oh yeah it does, 2016, that was right, that seems like so long ago now, um, probably my favorite jersey the U.S. has ever put out, uh, I love how it, again, USA diagonally, the little flag up here, beautiful, um, the striping, everything about it, it's just, I think probably the, honestly their best jersey they've ever put out. Right there, I really love that. Boom. As an American, be very proud to wear that as well. Um, oh. Alright, so that does it for the international section. Uh, we're heading to the World, or uh, I guess the Canadian Junior League, uh, CHL, more specifically the WHL. Um, I have the Regina Pats. Uh, they were the team I kind of grew up when I was very, very little, apparently cheering for. I don't really remember too, too much. Um, so I really like this jersey. I love the, the shoulder logo as well. Um, it's military inspired. Uh, they're one of the older teams from, from Canada, I believe. I believe it was like in the 1920s that they kind of arrived and they've been going strong ever since. Uh, I always really wanted to play for the Pats, but luckily for them I really suck at hockey, so that's good. Uh, I love this one. I think this is their updated version. I think they're currently wearing something like this or this exact one. And I got this on sale, so I got it because it was really sharp. I love the colors, the striping. Pat's logo again on the shoulder. Same thing. Uh, all right, moving on. I moved from Regina to Saskatoon and we were forced to go to the Blades games. Um, I was never really a Blades fan while I lived there. Up until this year when I got this, I figured why not? I'll get it, I'll go to a Hitman versus Blades game and wear this. And me and my friend, you got one as well. Uh, and we went and wore this to the Blades Hitman game. Um, I really like the jersey itself. Uh, players like Braden Shen played there. Um, Nikita Sherback. Martin Erat was even a Saskatoon Blade at one point. So, so they've had some decent players. I've never won Memorial Cup or anything. Uh, so we're waiting for that one day. We'll wear them again, I'm sure. All right, so that was 118 jerseys. Um, like I said, I do need to get Columbus still. I have my eye on two of them. Uh, my collection is far from complete. Um, I have at least, at least 100 more than I would like to get. I know my girlfriend would probably kill me to, to say that, but I... I I love hockey jerseys, I love all the colors, I love all the different logos, materials they use, everything about it. I just really, really have always liked them. Um, oh, like I said, uh, I'm planning on getting more. Um, I will do another one of these probably in a couple of years if I still kind of am going on this. And I'll see how it's grown since then. Um, if I get any other really, really cool jerseys that I feel like I need to show you guys, I will uh, do an unboxing of them or something when I get them. And uh, see how far we can get this 
this jersey collection going. Uh, but anyway, I really appreciate you guys watching it. I know both these videos are pretty long, um, so I won't keep you any longer. Uh, if you have any questions about any of the jerseys, feel free to ask. Um, let me know um, which ones you like, which ones you don't like, which ones you guys want, which ones you don't. Uh, yeah, thank you guys very, very much for watching it. I really appreciate it. Um, you can go check me out on Twitter and on Instagram. I'll see if I can throw those in the link as well. Uh, but have a good day, guys, and I'll see you again.